great minds talk about ideas average minds talk about themselves and mediocre minds talk about others environment is literally can either be the catalyst to your success or the catalyst to your failure great minds have always encountered violent opposition from mediocre minds hello hello welcome back my name is tristan and i'm here to help you elevate your life now in the previous video we covered what is success we covered the goal setting we covered the first key out of five of the keys to success the five keys to success and in this video we are going to look at the second key to success this key is a little more hits a little cl more closer to home than the first one this is something that is so important especially in our time and especially at our age this is something that will determine our whole life so please listen attentively listen closely there is something that i know that people will be able to find value from just listen so without further ado sit back relax enjoy and most importantly take notes so the second key <laughs> what's the second key now it's not goal setting this one is something that's is so is so juicy it's so important because it's everybody and basically what i'm talking about is your environment your environment is literally can either be the catalyst to your success or the catalyst to your failure your environment is so important in everything that you do like i cannot stress this enough your environment is something that can be a force that will push you to reach your goals or it can be a force that will push you to destruction you are the one that gets to decide it though because people think that oh <laughs> it's not their it's not it's not their concern it doesn't matter to them let me tell you something you have the power to change your environment and i'm going to mention a story that has been something that i've realized quite importantly and quite vividly the, the importance of your environment so let's just set the tone the, all of these examples are what happened to me in high school so these are the stories that are here so i'm 17 right now uh, as you may know uh, right now i'm in i'm going into my final year but in myp5 in myp5 that was two years ago about two years ago i had this goal that i wanted to do and that was get better at basketball i really wanted to get better at basketball and i was just about that that type of timing and so in my school we have to be at the dining hall that's where we have our breakfast we have to be there by 6 30 a.m be there eat and then we head off to school school starts around 7 30 so it gives us enough time to get there and all those things and if you have to get at 6 30 the rising bell which is the normal time for everybody to wake up is 5 30. now i mean i wanted to get better at basketball and i couldn't really do it after school because everybody's at the court after school and i needed that time to train i needed that time to just holding on my craft into work i started thinking about the time i started thinking about it i'm like okay i want this so let me also at the same time too this is also a time that i wanted to also elevate myself i wanted to improve myself i wanted to get to that point where i could be proud of myself and continue to push and improve so that was also trying to get to the dining hall early because prior to that 6 30 is the time you have to be there <laughs> i was coming 31 32 you see me running holding my bag you see me i'm late but <laughs> that's how it is and i said i don't want that anymore i don't want that to be my life i don't want that to be my legacy i don't want that to be what was said about me that i'm always coming late and i'm not somebody that is can be looked at for responsible roles and all those things so i said i want to change that and part of that process was okay let me try and kill two birds with one stone get better at basketball and come early to the dining hall i thought i said okay this is what i'm gonna do instead of waking up at 5 30 i'm going to wake up at 4. now i'm going to wake up at 4 and I'm going to go to the basketball court and I'm going to play basketball for about an hour. So from 4 to 5, I'm going to do that. And then from 5 to about 5.45, I'm getting ready for the day. I should be ready by 5.45. And I just walk to the dining hall at 6. I'm cool. Then I start as, uh, breakfast at 6.30. I'm there at 6. <laughs> that gives me 30 minutes to even read and plan my day and all these things. And it's something that will help me to grow. I'm constantly trying to find ways to invest into myself and to continue to grow as an individual. So I put forth that plan. That, it started around January, right? It started around january and all these things and i went to one of my friends and i was like <laughs> yo let, 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 let's see if you're down for it because he was also looking also getting better at basketball I was like yo if you want to try this thing we, we got it you can we can run it we can see if, how it'll go and he was like oh cool 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 let's do let's do let's do this time i didn't know him i was like oh 
this guy he just came to the school i didn't know if he was about it i didn't even like basketball so i just asked him if he was willing to go for it and i was like okay cool let's do it started the first week we woke up at four i went it was easy i woke up at four went to go and meet him he was already ready let's go to the courts we were playing basketball four 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 then we'll be at the dining hall at six 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 and I was like, yo, it's, it's cool because we are getting better. But we're seeing the results after school. We are playing other people and we are seeing that the moves that we practice in the morning is now coming. And we are like, it's good because we are putting in that work and we are working for it. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this is something that we can do. We can continue doing. A week passed, two weeks passed. And after I hear about that two week point, that's when it got very, very tough because waking up at four is difficult. Waking up at four is difficult because you are waking up and everybody else is asleep. But let me tell you something, one thing that helped me so much was the fact that on those days that I said that I wasn't going to go and wake up. <laughs> I wasn't going to go and I said, it's okay, I need to sleep and I'm tired, I need to rest, my body is sore, all those type of excuses that you make for yourself when you wake up in the morning. I made those excuses and I said, let me just go and do that. I get out to my bed, I'm like, nah, this guy, my friend, he said, he's already, already up, so let me just go and see him and let me just see if he's ready. I walk to this guy's room. To try and see if, if we are still going this guy is already dressed he's already ready he was on his way out to come and wake me up i was like i need to do better i need to push more so because he was doing that it pushed me to also wake up and also push for push through that time period where it felt so annoying and so tiring and we did that for a while and we were going at it every single day because it's because i had one person to go with it with it was like I had somebody to share that struggle with. I had somebody to share that grind with and be like, yeah, I'm not alone in this because I'm doing it with somebody and it's something that's there. Like, we created that environment for ourselves. It was like, we are not settling for less. If we say four, we are doing it from four and we are working. We are constantly pushing to make each other better. Whether it's 1v1s, whether it's shooting, whether it's whatever it is that we could do, dribbling drills, anything. We just try to push each other. We're always competition to it over us. And at first, I didn't really know him like that. But through that period of waking up at four and these things, I got closer to him. And I got to realize that he's, a, he's, <laughs> he's like me. And if you're listening to this, I'm pretty sure you're also like that. And if you don't think that you're like that, I think that <laughs> you can. Because there's really nothing different from us than from anybody else. Anybody can wake up at four. But it's about being consistent and doing it throughout. And I'll tell you for free that him being there was a big part in me continuing to do it. And so now we fast forward, we are going to the dining hall early. We are continuing going to Daniel on And after about like a month, a, a month of doing it, I started noticing that one who started coming to the dining hall early, maybe one of my friends would come early. And I said, okay, he's also coming early. At first, what they would say is, hey, why are you coming to the dining hall? Hey, why are you going so early? Why are you going so By the time I would come, people are now going to go and take their shower. Like, that's how early I was. So people would come and ask me, why are you always going so early? They're like, why? Can you not sleep? Why are you going so early? And it's like, those type of comments at first, they affected me. And at first, they were like, they were just affecting me in such a negative way. But at that time too, I was also reading this book by Robin Sharma. It's called The 5 AM Club. One of my favorite books ever. And basically one of the things that he said in the book, and I even wrote it down because it was like, it was so good. And hopefully I get the, the quotes right. But he said that great minds have always encountered violent opposition from mediocre minds. That's how it is. Great people. In the world, they will always encounter violent opposition from people who just don't see what they want. You just don't see the vision. You just don't see that 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 vision that you're trying to push. That that standard you're trying to raise. And so at first, they they were, they were always questioning me. And at first, I wanted to stop doing it because everybody's talking about it. And I was like, what's the point? But after I read that quote, I was like, I'm doing something right because <laughs> that means I'm a great mind. Because if I'm doing that, people are talking about me. That means that <laughs> I'm doing something right. So I continue pushing on. I continued doing it. After about a month, I started realizing that those people that were talking and giving those comments, I started seeing them coming a little earlier. I started seeing them come at like, no way, they'll come at 625. Now they'll be coming at 610. Then someone come at 65. Someone will even follow me to the dining hall at 6. Like, I started noticing that. And then after about two weeks or so, like, the population in the dining hall at 6 a.m. grew from two people to about like 20. And that was just off of me and my friend going constantly and doing this. So it's like, we are creating an environment for ourselves, but we are also creating it for other people. This is just to show you the importance of the environment. Because let's just play that scenario back and imagine if I had, if I was just on my own. Let's just say that, if I was just on my own. I probably would have been able to wake up, maybe I wouldn't wake up. But on those days where I felt tired, oh, 
take a little rest, take a little sleep. And even in the training sessions, I would have showed up, but I wouldn't have gotten better because I was going against myself. I was going against somebody else that was around my level. And so I couldn't really push myself with that competitive edge with trying to beat that person. So it's like, I didn't have that thing if I went alone. If I went alone some days, I'm tired, I'll sleep. <laughs> if I'm going alone in the training sessions, if I'm tired, I feel like stopping. If I'm doing eight reps, I'll stop. That's how it is. But when I had somebody there, I wouldn't stop at eight. I'll stop at 12 <laughs> because that person is doing 11. I can't, I can't let that person beat me. That's how it is. And the constant having somebody to just be there and trying to match your pace and doing these things, it pushed me to do better. Now, let's say, instead of not even having <laughs> no one and not having somebody who pushed, even worse, the worst situation possible, I had somebody who did the opposite of what I wanted to do. I wanted to wake up at four, but somebody is there and he's sleeping. Sleeping. As I'm waking up, I'm going, he's just sleeping. Like, he's not about it. I got to ask, are you, are you going... I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Next time, next time, next time. Let's just go next time. I wouldn't even make it to the court. Maybe after a few days, I'll go, I'll go. But after a few days, I'm like, I'm tired and I don't want to go again. And I'm thinking about the person that I'm doing it with. And I'm like, this guy's also probably sleeping by this time. Why am I getting up while this guy is sleeping? Just imagine if I had somebody that was counterproductive to what I wanted to achieve. Just imagine how that would be. And it was like, I realized then that I had to create that environment for myself where I'm pushing myself to achieve more and achieve better. Because your environment is literally going to dictate your outcome. That's something that is just there. That's something that, plain and simple, your environment, the people around you, they are going to dictate where you go. There's so many things about like the average, you're the average of the five people you spend your time with the most. These things, you hear them a lot, but it's so true because literally, if, let me tell you, like right now, right now, right now, if you're the one that's always offering something to the table and you can never learn from people around you, people in your friend group, you need to change your friend group, my guy. <laughs> you need to change your friend group because that's just for free. You need to change your environment. And the environment doesn't necessarily only mean your friends. It also means the stuff that you listen to, the stuff that you watch, the places that you put yourself in. Like, these are the type of things that continually, they just start to influence you. We are human beings we are reactive human beings. We react based on our environment. We adapt to our environment. We grow with our environment. That thing about, um, there was something that I saw. I don't know whether it's true or not. Maybe it probably is true, but it was about the shark and the shark in the fish tank. Shark in the fish tank grows like a few inches, but you put that same shark in an open sea and it grows a few feet. That just shows you that hmm, your environment is what is going to either... <laughs> unleash your potential or it's going to just keep you closed in and so you have that power you have that power to decide all these things and i'm realizing more and more now that if you want to reach those levels you need to surround yourself with that environment that will help you reach that point you can't be trying to make serious money and, and, and literally elevates your life if you are spending time around influences that will pull you down and force you to either spend money or who have bad habits you can't you cannot be around these type of things and i know that may be something that can be a little challenging to to do to separate yourself from all these things but it's all about what we call friendly distance <laughs> this is a concept that <laughs> i've applied <laughs> because i've applied it and i mean it helps because i keep my circle very very tight like literally and less than a handful of people know really, really, really what it is that I want to do. And it's like, I keep it so tight. I have a lot of acquaintances, a lot of people that are <laughs> still giving me trouble. I have a lot of people that are acquaintances. But I would say I have very, very few friends. Because these are the people that, if they're not contributing to where it is that I want to go in my life, I don't know if I can spend so much time around you, man. Because... Your ideas and your whole frame of reference, your whole paradigm is something that is counterproductive and is going against what it is that I want to do. And I cannot let that be something that's going to hinder my progress. It's something that I have control in. So this is the second key to success. And it's probably something that is so important, especially in our time. Because if you feel as if your friend group is something that is it's just not working for you, it's just, it's just, you just feel as if it's draining you. You feel as if your, your friend group, you're always giving, but you're never learning, you're never growing. You need friends who challenge you. You need environments who challenge you to do better. You need people who push you. There's a saying that's there, like a saying, for, for real, for real. There's something that I've embodied and I've taken it. I think it's also from the 5 a.m. club as well. 5 a.m. club is one of my favorite books. 
read it i also have that book with me too if you see it online feel free to get it online you can order it on amazon all those things but if you're in ghana and you want the book text me i got you i'll give you that book but basically it said that great minds talk about ideas average minds talk about themselves and mediocre minds talk about others think about it <laughs> think about it great minds talk about ideas average minds talk about themselves and mediocre minds talk about others now pay attention to the conversations that you have with your friends this is something you can do throughout the week are you talking about other people are you talking about yourselves are you talking about ideas that you can push forward different things that you can try to do in the school or in your life and all those things different stuff but that is Consider you feel like you're gaining something from it. You're building. You're, you're working for something. You're working towards something. Success. The realization of your goal. If it's something that's not going to help you realize your goal, your environment is not, being, it's not, it's not successful. You have to look at it and you have to put it with it. That's why this key is so important because if this key is wrong, if any of these keys that I'm giving are messed up and they are not in the right way, they're not aligned, Success is something that will be very difficult to realize. This is something that will be, that's making it easy. So, I'm just here to speak about your environment. You have to be aware of your environment, of your surroundings. Because your network will determine your net worth. Another one. <laughs> just dropping. Just, just giving you this, all these, this one. Your network is going to determine your net worth. Listen and listen well. Your friends the people who are around you, the things that you even listen to, they influence your behavior. If you're always listening to stuff about, about, about money, listen to stuff about investing, listen to stuff about businesses, about ideas, looking at the future, innovative technologies, that's all that you talk about. You realize that if you're talking, if you're watching something, that's the only thing you can talk about for a while. If you watch a certain series, that's the only thing you can talk about for a while because that's what it is that you surround yourself with, it's your environment. We are responsive people. We respond to our environment. So if your environment is something that it's not constructive and it's not leading you towards your goals. You always want to think about your goals. Think about what are you trying to achieve and who are you trying to become. If your environment is not helping you reach that point, you have to look at changing your environment. Look at improving it. You don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and go and make new friends. There's no problem with it. And it's something that's there as well. It's your environment. You control it. You are in charge of your environment. You are the leader. You are the one that makes your environment so <laughs> with that just remember that your environment is so important because it literally determines so much and you have to make sure that you are around people that are continually pushing for it now if you have any questions about the environment and how you can change it because i know it depends a lot on context and it depends a lot on all these things last one for let me just give you a last point please be with the people Go and make friends with people that you want to be like. So let's say that you want to be, um, you want to achieve a certain grade in the class. Go and befriend the smartest person in the class. Go and look, pick up on the habits that they do. Because when you are around those people, you also gain those things. If you want to be the best at a certain sports, look at the best person in that thing, in that sport. Go and befriend them. Don't be, don't be afraid to be friends with them. And you are learning from them, constantly learning from them. There's a guy in my school, best player in basketball, like for real. I saw that he was so good. I said, now nah, this guy has to be his friend. I have to learn from him because what he's doing is working for him. So let me learn what he's doing. Let me also do it. You learn. You learn so much and you take it in. You don't even take it in consciously. You take it in subconsciously because you just pick up on their mannerisms. So you can pick up on mannerisms of success or you can pick up on mannerisms of failure. It's up to you and it's up to who you surround yourself with. Surround yourself with people that you want to be like. Surround yourself with the people that are going to build you. With the environment that's going to build you. Listen to stuff. Watch things that are going to build you. Don't just spend your time watching, flipping, <laughs> whatever. Don't just spend your time watching things that are not going to help you realize that goal. Everything that you do in your life, let it be something that's going to help you realize that goal that you set for yourself. That's going to give you that success that you want. So, with that being said, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Instagram. Feel free to text me on any of those, um, I'm more than happy to take in your questions, more than happy to take in anything that you have, suggestions that you have, anything of that nature that you want to talk about. Um, if you also want to follow me, you can follow me on that too. You can follow me on Spotify. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, all those things. I'll be posting regularly, so you can just take in all these things and you can 
build your life throughout the week just try and just pay attention to your environment pay attention to the surroundings and pay attention to all these things because this will determine so much in your life this will determine so much so i believe in you we believe in you go out there and make the world a better place don't just live life but thrive Artless.io